haggling with Stephen King in this public embarrassment, like a humiliation fetish from Elon Musk. He's like, oh, bro, but what about $8 a month? So now he's rolling with $8 a month. He, actually, I'll just pull up the tweet so you can read it. He, like, starts groveling at Stephen King's feet. Like, no, 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 what do you mean you're leaving? Does this have a picture of it? I don't feel like going to his Twitter. He's posting like nine tweets every hour. I have to go back too far. Oh, here. I guess this is a direct link to it. Yeah, we need to pay the bills somehow. Twitter cannot really, cannot rely entirely on advertisers. How about $8? I don't know how he wasn't embarrassed posting that publicly. That's so shameless. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the idea. Charging $8 to keep the check mark, as well as opening it up to anyone who can pay $8 a month and have a check mark. Uh, he defends this idea by saying things like, you know, for too long it's been like a status symbol type of thing. Uh, it's elitist. Anyone should have access to it. Where's the tweet? Oh, here it is. Lords and peasant system, power to the people for $8 a month. So I think most people can sniff out some problems right away with the idea. And Elon Musk himself, like, refuses to acknowledge how this prevents it. But what you can do as just anybody is get verified and then just change your handle. So this goes live. There could be a million Elon Musks all verified, all promoting crypto scams, which was pointed out by Rubius. God damn it. Where did he delete his tweet? Oh, here. So Rubius point this out. What happens when a random user pays $8, changes his display name to Elon Musk using your same profile pic, starts tweeting like you, verified checks exist so people know they follow the real person. He doesn't even address that, he just said it already happens, which he's just blatantly wrong about. There's currently, at least not from the last time I checked, which was two hours ago, there is no verified Elon Musk scamming accounts, but there are people like impersonating him without the check mark. Whereas this can have verified scammers. But Regardless, not even the the biggest takeaway here. I think anyone who pays $8 for a checkmark is an absolute certified fucking loser. It should only be used by, like, companies, maybe. I could see that, like, companies or businesses wanting it. Individuals, I think that shit is trash. Like, you are basically just begging to be bullied. Like, that's like an elevated chat, but on Twitter. That's just a minus eight in every reply. I would not take a checkmark from anyone seriously anymore. It would be too embarrassing. Things they resub Legend, Orion, Sublime, and the Prime, Snuff, Sadie, Heckin, and the Tier 1 Garote, and the resub Aiden, Gurgle, Flydog, and Zontro. And Dubs. But yeah, his, his whole thing is like, it's going to... Actually, here, let me just pull it up instead of put words in his mouth. Here. You get priority in replies, mentions, and searches, which is essential to defeat spam and scams. Which I, I cannot believe he's that out of touch. This will only increase that because anyone can do it now. So now you can have verified scams, which are going to take priority in the replies and in the searches. I'm not paying $8 a month for the checkmark, I'll tell you right now. that That is... No shot. That is so dumb. It is more productive to burn your $8 a month. You are getting no value from it. So when that happens, there'll be like a thousand moist criticals everywhere. And they will all be in the priority scamming people. So it's only going to increase that problem. And you don't even get an ad-free experience. You just get half as many ads. <laughs> so imagine paying $8 a month for a stupid little Boy Scout badge and then still getting ads. How silly. This is like actual pay pig behavior where you just pay someone to get nothing in return except insults. Eight dollars for a check mark. I see why he's doing it because now he's just paid 44 billion for this pile of shit and there is no way it's making money, not even close. So he's just scrapping together every shitty idea to try and squeeze a little money into it. And he also has a problem right now where advertisers are pulling out. 
So not only is he losing all of his like members in the company, the employees that he's firing in mass, but the advertisers themselves are starting to pull out because they have no faith in Elon actually steering the ship. So he can't rely on them anymore, which he publicly admits to Stephen King. So he's just trying everything to make something back on this absolute massive shit post that was so costly. Man made a $44 billion joke and is starting to regret it like a Darman video. So is Elon doing worse than you thought? Yes. I, I expected him to just take over and just keep it exactly the same and just coast. But he is already making it uh, significantly dumber. This shit is super follows on crack. Oh, that is such a... I keep forgetting about super chats. The, it, like, super chats is absolutely inviting wedgies into your life. If you are... Or, sorry, super follows. Super follows invites, like, actual swirlies in the bathroom from the football team. If anyone sees that you are a super follower of someone on Twitch, you will never hear the end of it. You just, you are going to be absolutely bullied on Twitter forever. So people don't do it. You never see super followers. Because you're paying for fucking nothing. And that is exactly what the check mark's about to be with the $8 a month. It's so beautiful. Look at his most recent tweet. Ah, just another beautiful shit post. Oh, to all complainers, please continue complaining, but it'll cost eight dollars. Fucking epic. That's a fat own right there, noobs, from the mastermind of memes. Let that sink in. Thanks to tier one, Mr. Alright, and the tier one Carsonator, and the resub Scoots, George, and Santa. The bit shroom. I, I mean, I wish he would have just shut it down. Maybe this is like a long-term play to like slowly wean people off of it, which would be pretty big brain. But it would have been better if he just like, yeah, I regret it. I'm shutting it down. That would have been fantastic. But now he's just going to go out sad here with this one. Just a way to make money. I Yeah, it's a desperate way of making money. One that I don't see going super well. The only people that are going to use it are people that do it to troll or scam. Why the fuck is a normal person going to care about having a check mark on their name? Yeah, I'm Biff Cheeseburger from North Baptist University. I want to be verified on Twitter. I'll pay $8 a month for it. I saw, like, even the Elon meat writers that pretty much support everything are kind of scratching their heads here. Because for $8 a month, you're getting nothing. You get priority and replies, yeehaw, so you can say L plus ratio quicker than most people and have it at the top. Like, you don't get anything out of that subscription. They keep comparing it to things like Netflix or Hulu subs, but think of all the content you get from anything else with a subscription. Fucking RuneScape, you get an entire thousands hours worth of gameplay. World of Warcraft, and then any streaming service ever. You get fucking tons of content. On Twitter, what you get a check mark, you get a you get a badge. It's worthless. Like if it was a one-time payment, I could see some people doing it, but a subscription, a monthly subscription to have that, nobody's doing that except for businesses maybe. No shot. And you don't even get an ad-free experience, so it's even worse than like anything else, like alternative. OJ Simpson finally getting his check mark. True. O.J. Simpson made that post to Elon. Now that Elon's got Twitter under his control, maybe now I can get verified. And he can for only $8. So we finally got the real O.J. with that check mark. You can be like O.J. Simpson on Twitter. Let's go. Fucking huge. So I can make fake government accounts for only $8. We were talking about this on the podcast and someone in the chat made like a really fun suggestion of just impersonating foreign policy, <laughs> foreign policy, like uh, higher ups, because you can do this infinitely, right? Even if you have to verify via photo ID and you get banned for impersonation, you can just do it again. You can just keep doing this over and over again and keep changing your handle to like anyone with a position of power and just going fucking hog wild. 
Because it's not like they're going to have like some kind of blacklist or something where, oh, uh, Charles White's never allowed to make an account again because he impersonated, um, I, fuck, I don't know, Elon Musk or whoever. IP ban? No, I don't think so. I don't think they'd even... I don't think... Aren't you possibly misinterpreting the paywall idea? Couldn't it just be that in order to get verified, you need to pay money? But just because you don't doesn't mean you will. What riddle did I just read there? I'm not misinterpreting things. It's what he's saying. You're paying $8 a month. It's open to anyone. And one thing you can do, one thing you can do on Twitter is change your handle. So you can pay $8 a month as... Charles White, and then I can change my handle to whoever I want. I, I'll probably get banned at some point, but I could just keep doing that. I, I'm a little confused on what you mean by, but just because you do doesn't mean you will. I don't really, I don't get that part. He said the $8 will help fund content creators. Is there any info on this? Oh yeah, he did say that. No, that just seems like buzzwords to get people more on his side because people love that kind of sentiment. I don't know how the fuck that's going to fund content creators on Twitter. Like, what the fuck is a Twitter content creator? Like, just anyone with a big following on Twitter? There's some cool artists. Yeah, but they're artists. They're not Twitter content creators. They just post their art on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, wherever. And Twitter just happens to be one of those platforms. I wouldn't call them a Twitter content creator. Changing handle removes verification. Did he say that somewhere? And what, it also cancels the $8 a month? Like, where, where was that? Because he did not even mention that. It already does. Display name doesn't remove it. It already does. What? It already... Wait, what? Oh, no, no, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 you're misinterpreting it. Uh, you If you change your handle, everything goes. That happened to FaZe Clan once. No, no, I'm talking about display name. That won't matter. The handle can stay whatever the fuck it, whatever the fuck you want it to be. I'm talking about just the display name. Or 100 Thieves, not FaZe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happened to 100 Thieves. I think the payable verification at this point is meant to reduce bots and not meant to significant signif- Jesus. And not meant to signify that an account belongs to a public figure. Yeah, but it's not going to stop anything with bots or scams or anything. Because any it's, it's open to anyone. You can just pay $8 a month. It's just going to be a little costly to promote your scams. But you're going to get more out of it because it's going to fool more people because of the check mark. And since it floats to the top of the replies now, and since it's going to be the first things that come up when you search things, scams are going to be much more prevalent. Assuming it goes as he has it stated so far. Maybe he has fail-safes in mind, but he certainly hasn't said that yet. How will this stop bots? Bots already exist now, and when you implement buying verification, you'll have the same bots plus easily verified bots. I don't know, like, he's not very in touch. It doesn't, like, it, I don't see how this stops spam or bots. It, it seems to me to only increase spam and scams, but I, I guess we'll see. Like, it really it doesn't seem to stop bots. The bots are still there, <laughs> and now some of them can be verified. Uh, we'll see how it goes, I suppose. Case scenario is... Worst case scenario for Twitter is nothing changes. Yeah, I mean... Worst case scenario is more people get scammed. Like, I feel like that's the worst case scenario. Best case scenario right now is nothing changes and Twitter stays an absolute fucking shithole. Like, the optimal case is it just shuts down. 